Evidence indicates that as we sense our environments, our neocortex receives signals from our sensory inputs that allow us to build models of our surroundings. Our neocortex consists of about 150,000 cortical columns, each containing hundreds of mini columns filled with hundreds of neurons. The signals ultimately imprint references of a sight, sound, smell, location, feeling, Beautiful. sort of like a snapshot of an occurrence Ribeye. within the synapses or connections between our neurons. Every column appears to utilize the references in order to build complete models of everything around us. Every single thing we come into contact with through our sense experience is stored for at least a short period in the form of a model within our cortical columns. As we dive deeper, research suggests that the columns can reference their models and vote between each other in order to come to a consensus and make predictions. At every moment, we're attempting to predict. What is this person about to say to me? What will happen when I do this or that? When you're thinking or contemplating, all of those thoughts aren't coming from one brain. Thousands of tiny brains, the cortical columns, are referencing their models and electing one outcome or prediction. High level thought, imagination, creativity, they all stem from the ability to mix and match references. Now consider quantum mechanics, an attempt to predict measurements at the particle level. Although we can calculate a particle being in a specific place with great precision, we can really only predict a probability of its placement. Particles are said to be in a superposition until measured, meaning there is more than one possible outcome of its position, which is completely random. The more we know about an object's momentum, the less we know about its position, and vice versa. Every moment changes everything as we travel through space-time. One millimeter this way or that, a fraction of a second later, a slightly different frame of reference, and we're left with a completely different answer. At the end of the day, it looks like we're all doing the same thing. Everyone seems to be an artist in that we're all building models of everything that we have experienced. From Uber drivers to day traders, OnlyFans creators, bartenders and accountants, rappers, janitors, football players, and painters alike are all gathering sensory inputs and using a distributed, sparse system of neurons in order to move through space-time and survive. The difference? Only our frames of reference.